Hi, I'm Barb Jake, nurse practitioner with the ComCare Home Visit Program. And since 2019, we have reduced the readmission rate into the hospital and reduced the amount of times patients return to the ER. Why don't you tell me about the Home Visit Program? Well, the Home Visit Program was started two or uh, probably three years ago now. And we, as a health care center, had identified a population of people that was returning to our ERs and returning uh, as inpatients. So the population that is most at risk, as we identified for return, are the pneumonia, COPD, sepsis, congestive heart failure, or CHF. So when a patient's admitted, they go through a LACE assessment, which stands for how long are they here, how sick are they, acuity, how many comorbidities they have, and the, how long they stay, and how many ER visits. So every patient is assessed, and depending on what that number turns out to be, I am consulted. I usually do one home visit. I will go out again if needed, but the setting in the home is so much different than what the primary care sees in his office. There's a lot of problems identified sometimes, but one of the biggest ones is medications. Many times I get to the home and the patient says, here's my list of medicine, and I say, no, I want to see the bottle. Okay. Let me see the bottle because sometimes what we have in our system is completely different from what they are doing at home. Respiratory medications included, and many times COPD is a big, a big patient population that, that we see, and are they doing their inhaled medications correctly? Many times they aren't. You're in their home environment. They're more comfortable in their home, and they are way more apt to ask questions or to feel like they can ask you a question, and it's, it's not a rush setting. I spend an hour and a half many times with these people, so, and I pet their dog, and I pet their cat, and that, that's meaningful to people. So you mentioned usually it's one visit, but typically how long is from, from the, are you following them? I can follow them for a while. We, we've done a lot of investigation since this role started, and we've added a pharmacist to the, to the team. We've added a chronic care nurse to the team. And so those people follow these patients for ongoing for a long time if the patient wants it. So the chronic care nurse will follow them and talk to them, call them. They also have a phone number. They have my phone number. They have the chronic care team. We can refer them to the pharmacist so they can get some education on their drugs. So that takes that out of the equation. They can call and talk to a person, and that really helps. Well, Barb, thank you so much for some great information. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit comcarepa.com and like them on Facebook.